welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you've never been here before don't forget to subscribe today's video is a nail polish video I've been getting a ton of requests to do a fall polish picks which I didn't even realize I kind of dropped the ball on polish picks after last winter just because I do so many nail polish hauls and I talk about them in my favorites and it just kind of seemed redundant but I did want to do something along those lines I decided to do a fall polish picks but my top 10 fall polish picks some are new some are old favorites and I actually did like put them in order 1 to 10 but we're gonna go 10 to 1 because that's more exciting that's how we like to do it around here. But yeah, if you're into nail polish and you want to know what I'll be wearing on my nails this fall, then stay tuned. And uh, yeah, let's just do it. <laughs> Number 10 is one of my favorite essays of all time. This is After School Boy Blazer. I think it's two years old. I think it's from the fall line two years ago because when this came out, I mentioned it in literally every video. But it's just so good. It's the perfect dark navy blue nail polish. And I have a lot of navy blues. And I picked this over all of them for my top 10 fall polish picks. I'm pretty sure it's still available I will have it linked down below it's creamy and has a nice formula and really easy to apply opaque in two coats it's just everything you want out of a navy blue nail polish you have to trust me <laughs> number 10 is a favorite from last year's Nordic collection I believe this is how great is your Dane by OPI I remember I got this done on my nails and I was obsessed because you can't tell if it's a brown or a gray you're just like what is it those are my favorite kind of polishes when it's like I don't know what color this is <laughs> it's just a very unique interesting color if you like browns, which I love browns. I, this was like right up my alley. I would say a very, very, very dark gray green taupe. That was a lot of words to describe this, but hopefully you know what I mean. <laughs> if I look tired today, it's because I am. <laughs> Number eight is from the new Venice collection, and if you haven't seen my haul, I will link it right up here. Amazing collection. I tried not to make all this top 10, all of those polishes, but there are quite a few. But you know, when I was picking these out, I was like, okay, fall, you need oranges, you need a dark red, dark purple. When I went to choose a red, I wanted to choose the new red from the Venice collection. This is called Amore at the Grand Canal. And I mentioned in that haul that this formula just blew my my mind like yes it's a pretty dark red color but I have so many dark reds that I wasn't really like amped about you know a new dark red but oh my god this formula just like changed my life I was very passionate about this formula I haven't even tried it yet but I know I'm gonna love it because you really can't go wrong with the dark red and this will carry you all the way into winter as well I mean you can wear dark red all year round it's a classic <laughs> number seven is actually what I'm wearing right now this is called purple palazzo pants this is also from the new Venice collection and I am obsessed I have it on my toes as well and I picked this because this okay it blows my mind this is a lavender color but somehow it's like muted and appropriate enough for fall or maybe that's just my head convincing me that it is but I really don't think so I was also super worried this is gonna be an exact dupe for lucky lucky lavender it's not what I think this is is if you take planks a lot which was this really nice muted purple grayish purple from the Pirates of the Caribbean collection which was one of my favorite collections and lucky lucky lavender and you kind of mix them together this is what you're gonna get and I'm obsessed looking at it yes it's like oh that's a spring color but I love that they released this in the fall collection I think it is actually fall appropriate if you're not somebody who loves to wear dark nail polish all the time this is the that's not showing you my nails. <laughs> this is the way to go and I'm literally obsessed. I have it on my toes as well and when they were painting it I was just like oh yes! Ooh number six is good. It's so good. That's another Essie. The only other Essie I have in here and this is Carry On. Oh my god. <laughs> I think I discovered this around the same time as After School Boy Blazer. And it's just an amazing dark brown purple color. An eggplant color. That's what we're going to call it because that's truly what it is. And on the nails, it was just so good. I think I actually used this twice in one season, which does not happen for me. I have too much nail polish. The season is so short when it comes to my nails. Trying to fit all the nail polish in. And I believe I wore this twice in one season because it's so good. But yeah, if you're looking for an eggplant, I highly recommend this one. I got it from my mom. She wears it all the time. I believe I gifted this to so many people that year for Christmas because it was one of my favorites from the year and it's just still a fave. <laughs> Top five. That was ten. <laughs> Top five, people. This is OPI. I can only wear OPI. I haven't actually tried this yet, but it reminds me a little bit of OPI My Boyfriend Scales Walls. They're both kind of a white, off-white, grayish color. Oh, that doesn't make sense. It's a white but it pulls a little gray. There you go. That makes more sense. I love that one. I'm hoping to love this one as well. And I like that they re-released it because it's almost impossible to find my boyfriend's scales walls. It is beautiful. I love white. So anything, any variation of white, I am all about. Next 
time I get my nails and my toes done at the same time, I'm gonna take this bad boy because it's a good toe color as well. Now, number four is the dark purple of the collection, which dark purple nail polish is my weakness. I mean, all nail polish is my weakness, but I really have a love for dark purple. And I spent a lot of time going through my dark purples trying to figure out which one I wanted. And I just cleaned out my collection so I kind of knew what my go-tos were. When it comes to fall, I like to wear dark purples that are like brown purple, black purple. They could look black on your nails, but then you're in the sun and it's like, oh my gosh, it's purple. That kind of purple, a really deep dark purple. So that's what I wanted to share today. And I believe my all-time favorite deep dark purple is Vont to Bite My Neck. When I was getting rid of nail polishes, I swatched this next to a grape affair, which was the dark purple that came out with the coca-cola collection last year and they were basically the exact same so I was like which one am I gonna keep and I decided to keep this one because I like the name better but I had this first I know I love it and it's just a really good deep dark purple you got to wear deep dark nail polish most of October it's a rule and this one is a good one number three is an old favorite this is OPI my vampire is buff one of my favorite nail polishes of all time and this is fine all year round but it's a nice way to break up the dark nail polishes in the fall I love all types of nail polishes so when I'm wearing the same thing over and over I like to kind of break it up this is always a go-to if I don't know what to put on my nails it's this probably already have this because it's a huge OPI staple everybody loves it everybody raves about it and for good reason because it's a damn good nail polish very excited about the top two they could go together they could be worn separately I've been waiting all year to wear this again this is from the last OPI coca-cola collection this is orange you fantastic and it is quite literally an orange glitter I'm sure most people didn't like this in the collection I'm sure it was discontinued because nobody bought it I am obsessed with it last year on October 1st I got my nails done to celebrate the month of October and I got this on top of se Orange, which was from their last fall collection and I was obsessed and I cannot wait to do it again October 1st of this year. <laughs> it's just a multi orange colored glitter. It's got some silver in there as well and it uh, like this is Amy in a bottle. I love October. I love orange. It just reminds me of like a sparkly pumpkin. I'm so about it. I can't wait to try it on again this year. If I can find it I will link it down below. I'm sure I'll be able to find it somewhere so just check down there if you're interested. Counting down the days to where it's appropriate to wear this again. I was like thinking throughout the year how can I wear orange glitter nail polish? And I couldn't come up with a solution. So I've waited. It's almost here. I'm ready and I can't wait. And this would look good on top of my number one pick for fall 2015. This is from the new Venice collection. This is, it's a Piazza cake. It is a warm pumpkin orangey brown persimmon is how they described it. And it is literally amazing. And I cannot wait to try this. This was the most unique out of the Venice collection. I wasn't expecting to like love it as much, but I love it. I haven't tried it yet. It is my most anticipated fall nail polish. I cannot wait to put it on. Like I said, it would look good underneath the orangey fantastic glitter, but I kind of want to wear this by itself just so I can like really appreciate it. I don't have anything like this and I cannot wait to try it. It would be good for Halloween-ish time, but it would also be really good in November during like Thanksgiving time. It's just a perfect fall nail polish. Like this is fall in a bottle and I am obsessed. Why am I holding my hand like this? Okay guys, that is it. I hope it helped you pick out a polish for the fall. Um, let me know down below in a comment what your fall polish picks are. Again, it was very hard for me to only pick 10 because we just had that new collection come out and it was so good. But this is the cream of the crop for 2015. Subscribe if you didn't before when I told you to. Do it now. And yeah, I love you guys. I'll see you on the interwebs and I'll talk to you later. Bye. Two hands today. Bye. <laughs>